Do you have time for 10 questions today? Sure. All right, first question. Can you tell us what your position is at Cape Fear Academy? I am the head of school. What are your main responsibilities as the head of school? So my job entails working with the members of my leadership team to operate the school on a daily basis and to work with the Board of Trustees on overall governance of the school to make sure CFA is here 50 years, even 100 years from now. If you could describe Cape Fear Academy in one word, what would that word be? Awesome! You are a big tennis fan. Who are your yes. two favorite professional players to see in a matchup? Well, I just saw the greatest match of all time. Federer against Djokovic in the Wimbledon Finals. It was an incredibly exciting match. You and your wife traveled to Hawaii this summer. What is your favorite spot? Oh my gosh, we had lots of favorite spots. The top of uh, Haleakala, which is the volcano there, was really cool. We also saw some really great scenery. Uh, there was a hidden beach that we saw that was just absolutely gorgeous. You are an avid reader. What was your favorite book you read this summer? Hmm, I've got two favorites this summer. So with fiction, it's a book called Washington Black, which is about the life of a slave in the 1800s who gains his freedom. And then a nonfiction, a book called The Power of Moments by Chip and Dan Heath. If you could teach one class at CFA, what would it be? Oh, without a doubt, it would be an English class, and it could be any level. Just love it. We know you have a real sweet tooth. What, what shop has the best desserts in Wilmington? Now that's a tough question. But right at the top is One Bell Bakery, which is run by a CFA alum, Anna Eccles. It's just amazing cakes and pastries. But a close second is south of France, right on 17th Street near the school. Great, great, great desserts. What are you most excited for this school year? Oh, well, every year I just look forward to seeing students achieve and perform all of our traditions from the circus to biz world up to uh, TED Talks for seniors, just all amazing. And I can't wait to see which of our teams is going to match the boys' soccer team's state championship last year. I know, I got this feeling at least one of our teams is going to be state champions again. Who's it going to be? Tomorrow is the first day of school. What is your message to students as they prepare for their first day back? Oh, first day back. Guys, girls, look good, work hard, have fun, be compassionate, good friends, have a great year. All right, Mr. Berger, thank you so much. You are very welcome.